May June 2021, Paper 2, Variant 3, and the topic is the uh, DC circuit, potential divider, and the slot. So, define electromotive process. So, energy required to derive unit charge through a closed circuit. Energy required to drive a unit charge through a closed circuit. Or, energy dissipate per unit charge. So, you can write any two of the following. Write uh, part B. The circuit contains a battery of EMF E that has internal resistance R and a variable resistance a voltmeter which is showing the terminal, terminal potential difference. Uh, R is the uh, instance and uh, A meter is in series with the so reading from the two meters are taken for different settings of the variable resistance. Uh, the variation with current I of the potential difference across the terminal X Y of the battery is shown. Okay, so this. So one thing we're gonna do first is let's. Let's do first. Let's extend this line first. Okay, so we are extending this line. So this line, if I just put over this, back. so on y axis it touches to 7.4 volt, and uh, in x axis it touches to 9. 2 ampere right 0.92 so this means when the current is zero the maximum potential difference which uh, in one meter uh, this uh, volt meter will show is 7.4 and when the potential difference is zero the maximum current uh, will be 0.92 ampere so now next move uh, Explain why, explain why G is not constant. We know the EMF is dividing into potential difference across the variable resistor and and the and it has it also have the internal resistance. So potential difference is also uh, using uh, across the internal resistance. So when I is changed and why why I is changed I is changed due to the uh, changing of variable uh, resistance setting then when I is change V also change as V equals uh, EMF minus internal resistance so here you could see if we could change the I we will change the V so different values of I V also changes V is not constant V is not constant right so now next for C for battery B in uh, for the battery B in B use figure 5.2 to determine. So we we gonna use what the graph EMF about the EMF. So EMF is what when the current is zero. So whatever B the voltmeter shows will be the EMF of the battery so emf will be 7.4 volt and what is about the maximum current when the, the gold meter shows zero the maximum current showing by the ammeter uh, will be what will be the from the graph it is 0.92 ampere so 0.92 ampere is the maximum current in the battery that can supply and uh, and from the y axis 7.4 is the emf of the battery and regarding the internal resistance so internal resistance is the negative gradient of the slope the negative gradient of the slope so this negative gradient shows it shows is the internal resistance so Internal resistance you can easily find out with 
the EMF divided by the maximum current. EMF divided by the maximum current. So EMF is 7.4 and the maximum current is 0.92. So it is 8.04, which is approximately 8. So internal resistance is the EMF divided by maximum current. On figure 5.2, possible variation with I and B for a battery with a lower EMF. So EMF is now lower and lower internal resistance and internal resistance is lower. So internal resistance is lower means the gradient is not so steep, it is less steep. And, uh, in the, and we should use the range, the same range of the current. So what we will do? We know the now this line is is less steep, negative as well, but less and within range. So what we will do? So if we put like there any straight line which uh, finishing at 0.92 ampere but below 7.4 volt showing the less gradient means internal resistance is less and the potential difference is the of the EMF is less. So lower EMF, lower EMF means height of the wires is low and negative gradient should be negative gradient for the internal resistance it should be negative gradient which less